Well, I think I'm ready to uh, test another one of these uh, multi-user dungeon games. Uh, once again, I won't have any uh, background music. You'll have to uh, put it yourself uh, in place uh, because, well, <laughs> YouTube has this nasty habi habit of uh, deleting any videos that uh, have any kind of music, pretty much. Uh, even if I use uh, must open which uh, must opens music, which uh, is all public domain music, YouTube still uh, wants to <laughs> delete videos. So, so <coughs> well, that's one reason why I. Uh, don't really like YouTube, but uh, we have no choice. Uh, uh, of, of course, you could say that. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's always a choice, but uh, <laughs> there are always choice, but uh, not not the kinds of. But uh, really uh, suitable for my purposes. Yes, let's say like that. That's uh, that's uh, no. That's a good enough ex explanation for you. You don't need to know anything more than that. Uh, well. At least in this video. So I shall be playing uh, Armageddon, uh, which is on the mud connector ranked as the number one uh, mud. However, I have a feeling this won't be as uh, as uh, targeted for the uh, average individual. Because uh, this ha has role playing is is, is enforced and uh, only skill pl based training and not uh, skill and level based training like that other game. <laughs> uh, <coughs> so we shall read this uh, much description. Uh, by the way, this video, uh, actually the next few videos probably, uh, will be uh, about me uh, just reading uh, uh, about the uh, <coughs> Armageddon's uh, world. There's quite a lot of reading to do, and the game itself won't, at least I don't think it will uh, have uh, <coughs> that, that much built in. Uh, uh, world explanation. Uh, however, because it's also heavily uh, role play uh, centered, well, it's pretty much a necessity, necessity uh, to read uh, a lot of this. Uh, so we shall be reading that. Uh, so if you don't like the idea of me reading law and uh, that kind of so stuff, leave uh, at least for now. I shall probably uh, title my videos differently when I uh, get to actually playing the game. And I've got some uh, actual tea this time here with me. Suffer from me, from my galloping noises. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my uh, microphone will actually pick them up. A at least now that <laughs> I don't have anything uh, else you can hear in the background. Salamphus, a harsh, low technology desert where settlements and shelter are few and far between, and once you are within the walls, you may not actually be any safer. In the city-state of Al Alanak, uh, by the way, city-states are uh, those kinds of uh, <laughs> things that the uh, ancient Greece had. 
So just so you know, you might actually like to look at the, the history of this world we actually live in. <laughs> Uh, since I put those tidbits out there, <laughs> probably not. You ignorant fools! In the city-state of Alanak, governed by the ruthless sorcerer king Tektolnes, the co common rabble, rabble uh, struggle, rabble. Hmm. That's an interesting word. I have to see what it. Uh, I had a pretty good idea. Yes, uh, the common rebel struggled to eke out another strange word. Is this in uh, ye old English or something? Let's see. Eek. Uh, mm. Okay. Uh, <coughs> What, what are you doing? I don't care. How did how did that happen even? It put me in a totally different page there. No matter. Uh, uh, I should probably put a, a sound test. Uh, not a sound test, a sink, a sinking point here. Uh, Ah, uh, that should do. I don't know. Uh, I, because I have this uh, handy uh, table top microphone. I don't know what they are called, USB microphone. Uh, but so so that I can actually uh, tap my fingers on its uh, recording uh, thing. <laughs> That's a b pretty good uh, way to. Uh, Make these sync points, I feel. So the city-state of Alanak is governed by the ruthless sorcerer King Tektolnes. The co common rabble struggle to eke out uh, living under the strangling boot of the city's nobility. Criminals are put to death for the masses' amusement. And by the way, I can't do anything about that echo. It's... It's my room. I... I still haven't uh, got... Any echo... Uh, alleviating uh, uh, stuff here. Um, I have these mats all over my floor, but they don't seem to do anything. Uh, criminals are put to death for the masses' amusement, and elementalists with arcane, unpredictable powers are allowed to walk the streets so long as they wear the gem. The mysterious device of the High Lord Tectonis is devising. To be north, in the magic free city state of Tuluk, the all-knowing Sunkin Sun Sun King Makotep Mak uh, rules with, with despotism, cloaked as benevolence. His Templars are the city's arbiters, and uh, while the city is no less brutal than Alanak, those who stray on the wrong side of the law usually vanish without a trace. And again, I have to uh, see. But uh, uh, was was this correctly spelled? R arbiter arbiter like this. Uh, okay. Uh, across the city of the known world, bands of nomadic humans and xenophobic elves dot the rest of the the rest of the map. <laughs> map <laughs> the great me merchant houses of houses of Salar, Cadius and Kurak tra traverse the world for trade, maintaining cutthroat monopolies and a lethal gr grip on their markets. Yet 
in spite of the numerous threats that will await your character, at every twist and turn you will find a niche for yourself in the world of Salanfas. Over two decades old Armageddon mud is an addictive for its harsh desert theme, as it is for it for its beautifully written environment and intense required role play. Real time interaction with multiple players around the world will draw you into this world and offer you a gaming experience you will never forget. And another reason I've, I think this might not be as. Uh, as uh, mainstream as. Uh, Artwolf uh, is because it says here that it's uh, two decades old. Where was it? Any, anyway, uh, I already lost the place. Uh, anyway, creating a character. Uh, that's pretty much not important for us. Uh, first. Name. First you will be asked to choose your character's first name. Your character should have a fantasy-oriented name to fit into the, into the game world. Real-world names are usually not acceptable, over, although many players use names from other non-Western cultures. Avoid names like Bob and Heave uh, that, uh, that do not have uh, enough of a fantasy feel. Uh, feel in uh, uh, quotes uh, <coughs> names should be something that pa parents would realistically name their child so weird names like mr cool and <coughs> i can't pronounce that are not acceptable well-known fictional names bilbo gandalf darth vader sturm tainis etc are almost always not accepted if you find it hard to come up with a good name, try Samuel Stoddard's fantasy name generator. Gender. Your character must choose to be male or female. Gender does not affect your character in any way except for which pronouns are used to refer to your character. He slash she etc. Uh, women and men are equal on the Stellanfas. Avoid imposing uh, uh, your own interpre interpretations <coughs> anyway, and norms on the game world. I, mm, <laughs> I really have. Uh, st I'm struggling sometimes with, with these tongue twisting uh, terms. Interpretation. Mm, that went pretty well, don't you think? Uh, for example, there is no sex sexism on the Lanfas. Uh, women and men are treated equally. This means that the following would not happen in Armageddon. A man expressing shame as at being beaten, uh, beaten by uh, uh, sparring by a woman. Uh, someone ref referring to woman women as needing protection or c cuddling. Uh, a woman should a woman being shamed for sexual promiscuity while a man is praised for it. Race. New players are limited to four races. Humans, half-elves, city elves and dwarves. It is highly recommended that you play a human for your first character. I don't know if I will. This mantis is... Hmm... Or is it... Man... And what is the plural of man, a uh, mantis? <laughs> Probably just a mantis. Uh, they look pretty interesting to me. Uh, humans are just like real world humans, or those in mo most of our role playing games. On Stalanfas, half elves, elves, and dwarves are significantly different from our fantasy genre games, movies, and books. So if you choose not to play a human, you should read the documentation for your chosen race. Guild a, aka class, also known as. Uh, <coughs> new players are limited to six classes. 
warrior, ranger, merchant, assassin, pickpocket and burglar. With the exception that city elves cannot play rangers because they live in cities. It is uh, highly recommended that your first character be either a warrior, a ranger or a merchant. Keep in mind that the uh, guild of your character only decides what skills your character will get and which skills they will be able to pick up. It has nothing to do with, with what profession your character will have or want to have or what things they will enjoy or be good at. Pick a guild that suits, suits your character's background. Think over how she or he will uh, have acquired uh, the skills Xi has. Uh, Subguild aka subclass. New, no, new players may choose from 24 different subguilds which are listed and described on the subguild page. Uh, they are probably somewhere around here, yes. <coughs> uh, any subguild uh, should be uh, suitable for a new player. There are no bad choices. Be aware if, that if you choose a guild or subguild combination that sounds redundant, like pickpocket slash thief, ranger hunter or merchant crafting uh, subguild, you will likely receive no additional skills. Although you may start out more proficient at some skills than you would by choosing the guild alone. <coughs> Your character's subguild will uh, grant them a set of additional skills at which they will start out somewhat more proficient than uh, the guild skills, but have less potential to become really skilled at. Uh, subguild can represent what jobs your character might have uh, had uh, was uh, far in their lives. Attributes. At this point in character creation you have the option to choose the general order of your character's attributes. Attributes, also known as stats, are measures of your character's innate abilities. They are strength, agility, wisdom and in endurance. You may skip this step if desired by pressing the enter key on your keyboard without to choosing a stat order. Your character's attributes uh, affect your hit points, your move movement points, your stun points, how much weight you can carry, how many items you can carry in uh, your inventory, how hard you hit in combat, how frequently you hit in combat, and how quickly you, ca you can improve your skills. Mm, pretty standard stuff, it sounds like, but, uh, well, it's... Pr it's probably in the setting of various games. Uh, uh, its best points are. Now you will be a, a main description. You, now you will be asked to write a few sentences describing your character's physical appearance. Your character's description is one of the most important parts of character creation. Uh, a good description gives other players a clear mental picture of a character, enhancing the roleplay for both you and them. Descriptions are a minimum, minimum of four lines, around 7 to 10 is good. Uh, by the way, I'm pretty bad at descriptions. But so I'll probably think of my character offline, uh, but uh, but I'll cre actually create it uh, with uh, I'll actually record when I'm creating it. Uh, descriptions are a minimum of four lines. Around seven to ten is good. You should be a should, you should only describe your uh, character's physical features. You can include the gender and race in your description. You can include the body type, are they tall or short, thin or fat, muscular or flabby. You can include the facial features, the eye color and shape, the shape of the nose, jawline or cheekbones, the color of the lips or eyebrows, etc. 
You can also decide your character's hair color, the length or, and texture, uh, but do not indicate the hairstyle unless that is how you always want your character's hair to look. Hair, hair to look. Clothing and equipment should never be mentioned in the description of your character. Items are available in the game, and since they can change over the course of a play, of play, uh, they should not be part of a description. Follow basic rules of spelling and and grammar, uh, and write the description in complete sen sentences in the form of a paragraph. Uh, paragraph. Ah, I have to look that also. Okay, okay. Well, I already knew what that meant, but I had to check, of course. Uh, where was I? Uh, somewhere in paragraphs. Uh, ah, here. Write the description in third person, i.e. Uh, what does that mean? I don't, I don't even care at this uh, point. Uh, this is a tall and sinewy elf, rather than uh, I am a tall sinewy elf. Don't put your character's name in the description. It's not something a person would know just from looking at them. Do not describe your, how your character moves or speaks, since the viewer may be looking at them uh, while they are s asleep or knocked out and wouldn't know how, th how they customarily move or speak. Uh, maybe you uh, may be looking at them uh, while they are asleep. Uh, uh. Similarly, don't have your character performing uh, actions in the descriptions, su descriptions such, such as nodding or whistling. Also, I, I sometimes I. Uh, only read and don't actually understand what I am reading, so that's why I might sometimes uh, repeat what I am saying. And again, some drinking. Now it's already half uh, empty, my mug. Uh, keep your lines 80 characters long or less, more than uh, 80 can cause scrolling pro problems on pe some people's terminals. Use a spelling checker and proofread your text. <laughs> wow, this, this is uh, really uh, demanding, <laughs> this, uh, this character creation business. <laughs> However, I don't think I shall be needing any spelling checkers or proofreading. I, I am pretty confident in my uh, English skills. Terminate your description with a uh, tilde, I think, uh, on a line by itself. There's no need to be into, to feel uh, intimidated by this process, uh, or feel the need to write the greatest description ever. A few lines in plain English should be fine. If you're completely stumped, stumped, one of our players, Amanda Greathouse, wrote a random character generator. Uh, <coughs> if you feel some, uh, if if you need some, I don't know how I'm misreading these words. Uh, some help. We have provided some sample descriptions. Short description. You will be asked to provide a short description. Your short description is how characters see and identify you. It is displayed whenever you use a command. For example, if your short description is the slender, ebon-haired woman and you walk north into a room with other characters, they will see the slender, ebon-haired woman has arrived from the south. Your short description also provides keywords for our characters to use when interacting with you. Uh, using the same example, other characters might look slender to your character's main description and equipment list or tell Ebon hello there 
how are you uh, to speak to you uh, height weight and age next you will be prompted to enter numerical values that represent your character's height weight and age your height and weight are or is it height and uh, anyway uh, are relative to your race and the character generator will tell you acceptable ranges for them these ex aspects of your character should re reflect the description you have already written for example if you have described your character as being tall for your for their race you should choose a height in the upper part of your range given we recommend in making your first character between 20 and 30 years of age as extreme extremes on the age range can lead to bad stats or make it more more difficult for your character to get employed hmm i like that i like that age matters actually in this game uh, background once again you are asked to write four or more lines this, this time describing your character's background. This can include their history as well as describe their personality. Other characters do not see your character's background. It is a tool for your own for your you for your use in role playing and for staff to better understand your character's motivations. Uh, your background is not in any way restricted by your guild. A character of Guild Warrior doesn't have to be a battle-loving hero. By the way, this is a pretty innovative uh, concept uh, this, uh, for staff to better understand your character's motivations. Uh, because, uh, well, that might come in handy when we are dealing with uh, possible, uh, well, uh, rule breakers. <clears throat> that way they don't have, have actually have to uh, bother the individual in question if all is in order everything is in order uh, your background is not in any way restricted by your guild a character of guild warrior doesn't have to be a battle loving hero Another thing is that in no way does your character need to be to have an extreme background. Most people's lives on Salernifest would be rather common. Working class parents, tough life, worked since young age, never got any schooling. Remember that it is illegal for most people to know how you how to read and write. <laughs> Although normally the family of your PC doesn't exist in the game, uh, this doesn't mean they have to be dead. You can roleplay that they are there virtually, even include them in emotes uh, occasionally for a feel, such as when visiting your parents' house, etc. Take time to flesh out the personality of your character and think what events of in their life have shaped them, what has happened uh, what were the conditions like during the part of their life that occurred before, your, before you cre created a character. Think of how creating ca how your character acquired the skills that they know. Who taught them how to fight and why? Uh, perhaps you'd like to have a non-coded pro profession for your character. Cleaning maid, errant boy, slash girl, nanny, tanner, laborer, anything that fits into a game world. And the same applies to making, making up professions for your parents. With your first character, it will be hard to make a long and detailed background simply because you don't know enough about the game world. You may be tempted to have your PC come from a far off land to explain the lack of familiarity with the city. It is acceptable not to uh, know where everything is. Concentrate on describing the personality and goals of your character, along with what has, has shaped them in their life. It is highly, highly recommended that you 
that you make your first character from Alanak or Tuluk, since you have you will have more people to role play with in in Wars main cities. Uh, what you know page will give you a quick sketch of what the life in uh, each city is like, and may give you ideas for your character's family and background. We have provided some sample backgrounds. Uh, uh, actually, did I look at this? Uh, well, let's look at it all. So, role playing is required. Armageddon is first and foremost a role playing game. Role playing is central to the game environment and is not considered an option by the creators of the world. It is a requirement. If you do not want to role play, this is not the game for you. Yeah, yes, I, I think I do want to role play, and I will be reading all of these. So I actually have some idea how to role play, play my character. At least I'll try, uh, because, <coughs> well. Uh, I might uh, be somewhat uh, not social, not sociable uh, or something, so that I actually have a, <laughs> a reason for not talking as much as uh, some other people would. But I'll try at least, really, honestly. <sighs> well. Uh, otherwise, I probably wouldn't even uh, uh, bother reading all of this if I didn't even want to try. Uh, the game has a combat system, magic spells and thousands of other features for added realism, but you must keep in mind that the only reason everyone is here is to have fun while acting out a role. The most important thing is playing your character according to their personality in order to help in the creation of a realistic fantasy world. Hmm. Uh, it's a harsh word. The world of Armageddon is known as Selanthus. It is a harsh planet where only the fittest survive, and competition over extremely scarce resources causes constant strife, struggle and bloodshed. Uh, Deserts cover most of its explored surface, and the great sun, red sun can bring daytime temperatures well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. What's that in the, uh, <coughs> Celsius? Uh, I have to check. Uh, so, extremely scarce resources and constant, uh, which cause constant strife, struggle and bloodshed. Uh, deserts, mm, great red sun, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, uh, okay, 37. Uh, that's pretty hot, at least here in Finland. <laughs> it's Well, uh, not even in the in the hottest summers here, uh, at the hottest times of the, those hottest summers, we don't have uh, <coughs> that hot uh, <sighs> climate. <laughs> No, that, that's not grammatically correct. Uh, we don't... Uh, it's not that hot here even. And that line of what, what I just said. Uh, most citizens lead lives of extreme hardship, struggling to survive and get, get ahead. Uh, sometimes this is accomplished by means of banding together with others, especially powerful clans and houses, or by forging friendships or alliances with powerful individuals. 
I'm pretty sure I will be uh, somewhat of a hermit. I don't know, but uh, it's... I'll... Uh, I might be some kind of a bandit, someone who tries to survive alone. Something like that. I don't know. It's something that I... I would uh, actually rationalize my uh, social... Uh, poor social skills with... Uh, <coughs> uh, or by forging friendships or alliances with powerful individuals. At other times, people survive by climbing over any anyone who gets in their way, by cheating, stealing, killing, uh, swindling, or otherwise taking advantage of others. Many Zelanfan sit citizens survive just by keeping their heads down and hoping no one considers them either weak enough or threatening uh, uh, enough to target. Permanent death. Life is hard. There are no free lunches on Zelanfas. There aren't even free drinks of water. Sometimes people are nasty. There are no rules against being mean to others that you meet, as long as the me meanness is in character. Your character will face hardship often, and will uh, probably even be killed, possibly at the hands of another player. If your character dies, he or she is dead. PERMANENTLY! However, you, you can always make another character, just keep in mind that your new character will have no uh, uh, knowledge of your previous life. Yes, I really like the permanent death. I... Uh, I... Uh, it's something I... Uh, I'm pretty uh, okay with and actually... Uh, I can't... Sometimes it's even annoying when uh, I have some sort of respawning and, and no explanations for that. And even if a uh, high ex explanation, a explanation has to be good or otherwise, well, I don't really care for uh, resurrecting characters. So, permanent death it is for me. Yes! Let's rejoice and let's drink some tea for that. Oh, I'm out of tea. I, I'll uh, stop.